What's up, Vikings? Coach Fawn here to show you this part two edition with the beginner workout for the steel mace. So everyone seems to know to have strong legs, you need to have strong glutes. But to have a strong upper body, you need to have strong lats. And yet no one talks about them, especially with kettlebells and steel maces. And this is what I believe to be the real secret to having shoulder resiliency with this tool. So I'm going to be showing you four more exercises using the steel mace to best utilize your lats. All right, so first we're going to start off with a steel mace pendulum to an offset press. You're going to have a vertical stack it first. Get those shoulders down and back. Pack them into the shoulders. Notice how I'm pointing that index finger. That's the direction it's going to go. You're going to pendulum the mace on a one, two, three count. So on the third one, I'm going to pull it in back into that vertical stack. I'm going to slide my base hand down into a front rack position. Once again, packing my lats down with both palms down. Fully lock out my arms overhead. And you want to resist shifting as you press. Pull the mace back down with the lats, back to that front rack, and then vertical stack it once again. So you're going to go one, two, three. You're going to pull it in. Shoulders down and back. Slide that hand down. Pack the shoulders down. Press it fully overhead, keeping that vertical plank. When you're done, switch your grip. Switch sides. You'll go right to the other side. So I'm pointing that finger, goes the other side. As you see, press on the other side. Next, we're going to do steel mace squat press outs. Once again, you're going to have that vertical stack position, keeping those shoulders down and back. You're going to squat and press out at the same time. So notice how straight my back is, and then I pull the mace back in. Key thing is to make sure the mace isn't shifting back and forth, as you see there. Keep it nice and vertical. Fully lock out the arms, keeping your elbow pits up. That's the real key to this. If you can see your elbow pits, you can engage your lats better as you press it out and then pull it back in up top to that vertical stack. Drive the feet in the ground, squeeze the glutes up top. Next, you're going to do the ground and pounds. This is a favorite one I like to do. You have both palms down, dig that toe down. You're going to pull the mace up into the vertical stack and then shift it to the other side, alternating. So I'm going to pull it up, pivoting my feet back in that vertical stack, drive it back down, pivoting that foot like I'm punching straight down. So once you got this down, you can add a little more speed to it once you have it grooved. Once again, really make sure you pivot those feet and go slow when you first do this to get the, a groove of it once you go left to right. Last one, we're going to do walking lunges. Notice how my mace hands palm up, base hands palm down. I'm going to have the mace head near the rear leg. I'm going to lunge and then do a dynamic curl, switching left to right. So once again, notice how that mace head is near the rear leg. Keep my spine nice and vertical. I'm pulling it in like I'm breaking the bar toward my sternum. It's also very key you keep your front leg, shin vertical as you lunge. Go back and forth at least 10 yards or so. All right, so if you enjoyed that workout, if you like more workouts like that, be sure to check out my new ebook, Got to Swing, Guide for Kettlebell and Steel Mace Strength Training, having 40 workouts with over 130 different exercises. If you also like more information with the Steel Mace, be sure to check out my Steel Mace Education 101 playlist. This is Coach Vaughn signing off. Hope you have fun with that.